So in this video, we will dive straight into the exciting world of running watches, specifically those that won't break the bank, coming in at under $250. We've got a lineup of some stellar options that offer fantastic value for money. Starting off our list, we've got not one, but two picks from Garmin. First up, the Forerunner 55, priced at $199. It's a solid choice for beginners, but if you're willing to shell out an extra 50 bucks, consider the Forerunner 165. Trust me, that extra investment is worth it for the added features and value. Now, onto the Forerunner 165. It boasts impressive features like an AMOLED 1.2-inch touchscreen display, Garmin Pay contactless payments, great battery life and extensive running features like vertical oscillation and ground contact time, to GPS tracking and wrist-based running power. It's got everything you need to improve your performance. Plus, with the ability to track your body's energy levels and broadcast your heart rate to other devices over Ant Plus and Bluetooth Smart. The downsides? No multi-sport mode, no skiing or snowboarding features. Additionally, it lacks EKG support and dual frequency GPS. However, you can still create routes on Garmin and other platforms to push to the watch, and it supports breadcrumb style courses. But hey, you can't have it all, right? But let's not stop there. Next up, we've got the Coros Pace 3. It stands out for its exceptional value, especially when it comes to pricing. Despite its slender and lightweight design, weighing just 32 grams with a nylon strap, or 39 grams with silicon, it's a powerhouse for evaluating running performance. It collects comprehensive data on metrics like stride length, cadence, heart rate zones, and elevation, presenting it all in an easily understandable format. One standout feature is its accurate geolocation, outperforming even the Forerunner 165 in this regard. Additionally, it offers fitness tests and logs results, along with a unique running fitness feature akin to Garmin's endurance and readiness scores combined. While it may lack on watch payments and Spotify controls, it compensates with music storage, a redesigned rear sensor array, toggle on-off touchscreen functionality, and excellent battery life. Its stripped-back design makes it an ideal running companion, especially for recreational road runners who prefer simplicity over flashy features. In summary, the Coros Pace 3 is perfect for athletes seeking a reliable, no-frills running watch that simply gets the job done without unnecessary clutter or complexity. Moving on, we have the Polar Pacer. The Polar Pacer, though launched back in 2022, still holds its own in terms of capability, especially for its price of just over $1.200. It offers the basics that multi-sport athletes need with decent sports functions and good GPS workout time. While it's not the smallest or lightest smartwatch out there, it's smaller than many others, though the sizable black screen bezel may not appeal to everyone. Despite its age, the Polar Pacer packs in features to support your fitness journey, including features like Training Load Pro and Recovery Pro to monitor post-workout strain and recovery. Additionally, there's energy sources for tracking energy consumption, FitSpark for personalized training guidance, and FuelWise for reminders to consume carbs and fluids. Plus, a built-in running program helps users train for various events, including 5Ks and half marathons. However, there are some drawbacks. The non-touch color screen is responsive and efficient, reacting quickly to button feedback, but it's a non-touch panel, which may not be liked by everyone. The lack of blood oxygen monitoring and barometer and compass sensors may disappoint some users, especially those interested in outdoor activities. Additionally, you'll need an external running foot pod sensor for running power measurements, and you can't upload routes or use turn-by-turn -turn navigation. In all honesty, considering the alternatives mentioned earlier, the Polar Pacer may not be the top choice, but if you're a fan of Polar and are looking for a sub $250 option, it's still a solid contender. Our fourth pick is Decathlon's Keeprun GPS 900, which stands out among budget running watches, with its comprehensive features tailored to beginner runners. It incorporates Coros's EvoLab training tools, offering insights into running performance, VO2 max estimates, training load, and more. Navigation functions include breadcrumb route following, off-route alerts, and back-to-start guidance, supported by a barometric altimeter for altitude tracking. While it lacks offline music and contactless payments, it compensates with smartphone notifications. 
Lightweight and comfortable for all-day wear, especially with a nylon strap alternative, the Kiprun GPS 900 provides ample screen real estate for vital stats display in all conditions. However, its built-in optical heart rate sensor can be inconsistent and producing erratic readings. Despite this, its GPS tracking is solid, ensuring reliable distance accuracy comparable to more expensive watches. But when you dig into the GPS tracks, it often struggles to lock accurately to paths. And by far the biggest attraction is that massive battery life. In summary, while the Kiprun GPS 900 may have some drawbacks, such as optical heart rate accuracy issues, it excels in simplicity, reliability, and robust design. Its extensive battery life further adds to its appeal, making it a compelling choice for beginner runners seeking a fuss-free training companion. Last but not least, we've got the Sunto 9 Baro, a standout option with its large touchscreen protected by sapphire crystal. While it may not be the most exciting choice compared to the competition, it's a reliable model that won't disappoint if it aligns with your needs and preferences. The Sunto 9 Baro offers everything you need for GPS tracking, fitness tracking, basic navigation, and altitude measurement. It's been tested against US military standards and passed rigorous tests for durability in extreme conditions. While its heart rate accuracy is average, its GPS accuracy is excellent. In running mode, the Sunto 9 Baro displays essential metrics such as pace, heart rate, distance, and stopwatch on the first screen. Subsequent screens show duration, average heart rate, cadence, intensity zone, heart rate graph, and breadcrumb trail for route navigation. You can also customize displays through the MoveScount web app. However, it's worth noting that the interface is lacking, and the screen brightness could be improved. Additionally, battery life could be better compared to competitors. In conclusion, if the Sunto 9 Baro meets your requirements, it's a solid choice despite its shortcomings. If you found this video helpful, please like and comment below if you'd like to see watches at other price points. Thanks for watching.